Hey kindergarten, we're gonna do a really quick directed draw today. Um, we're gonna be working on some spring animals. And today we're gonna be doing a cute sheep. So like I've said before, normally we do all of our drawings in portrait mode. Today we're gonna be doing them horizontally in landscape mode. So go ahead and turn your paper so that it's long and short. And we're going to start with a U shape, U is the letter of the week. We're gonna do like an uppercase U toward the middle um, of your paper. So I'm gonna start there. And I'm gonna continue with my U, just like this. I'm gonna leave the top open because we are going to add some cute details here to our chic face. So I'm gonna take the top part and I'm gonna make one ear. And the ear is a curve over and then a curve under. Same thing on this side, curve over and curve under. And then we're going to take the very edge of this and we're gonna kinda of make another little curved line connecting those. Those are gonna be the sheep ears. And then up here on top, we have a little bit of space for her hair or his hair if you've got a boy sheep. I've got a U, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill in her hair. And I usually go over these with crayon when I'm done. So there's the top of the sheep's head and we're gonna go in for the face. So we always go to the middle to do the nose. Animal noses are different than human noses, so we're gonna make a rounded top and then a V bottom. And from the V bottom, we're gonna give her a smile that loops up to the right and over to the left. And then we're gonna give her big circle eyes. Just like that. I'm gonna fill them in with circles in the middle and when I color it, you'll see what that looks like and we'll go in for details as we use our crayons. Now we're gonna take the sheep body and all we're gonna do is we're gonna give it some fluff here down at the bottom. So until you get to the edge of your paper, the bottom edge, we're just gonna give it some fluff. And our sheep is going to be saying hi to us. So I'm gonna stick an arm out this way. Two lines for the arm. I'm gonna close those up because we're gonna get the sheep's foot here. Uh, we're gonna do something like this. Okay. And at this point, we're gonna come in with our crayons because um, we're gonna add some detail. And the detail is going to come in with the crayons. I'm gonna take my black crayon and most of what we're going to be doing is gonna be in black. And I'm gonna start at the very top. So here where the fluff was, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna trace over what I already did with my crayon, just to outline it. And once I'm done outlining all those fluffs, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna make some swirls, just like this. You can put as little or as many swirls as you want. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm going to grab the face here and I'm just going to outline the face. I'm going to outline the nose and color in the nose pretty dark in black. I'm gonna trace the mouth and I'm gonna go in for the eyes. I'm gonna trace those and then the eyeballs that I made earlier I'm gonna go ahead and color those in and of course my girls are gonna want me to make this into a girl sheep you don't have to add eyelashes but my girls always want me to so I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna go ahead and go up trace the the ears you gotta be really careful on this one because we are gonna color the inside pink so you want to make sure that your crayon doesn't smudge when you do that. I'm going to go ahead and trace. There. I'm going to stop here 
and I'm gonna take, um, I don't have a pink crayon, I only have my red violet, so I'm just gonna use it really lightly. And you gotta be careful that the black crayon doesn't smudge into your pink. So super lightly, I colored the inside of the ears. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Then I'm gonna come down and I'm going to continue to trace with my black crayon the body of that cute sheep. And I'm gonna add swirls in here too. And then I'm gonna come over to the arm and the hoof and I'm gonna do the exact same thing there. But with the arm and the hoof, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually color those two. So I'm gonna fill in with my black crayon. And on my other drawing, I had also colored in the face of my sheep, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that also. I'm gonna color in the top of the ears on both sides. And then I'm gonna color the face, being super careful around the white parts of the eyes so that I don't color um, the eyes in black. You can color it as dark as you want to. I'm just doing it as quickly as I can um, in a lighter shade just so that I can finish up and you can see what it's gonna look like. Later on I can go back and fill it in just a little more darkly. And that's our cute sheep. I usually advise my students to color in a background. Um, you can pick any color you want to. Um, I might put this sheep at the farm, so I might put um, a little grass in the background and a blue sky, and then fill in the coloring there. If you have watercolor, a lot of times we like to watercolor our background in room four. That would be fun to do too. Sometimes we even use invisible ink. So if you have a white crayon and some watercolor, you can definitely do invisible ink. I'm just really quickly gonna shade in my background. We don't like to leave our background white. We like a little bit of color in there. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the background and you can finish up yours. Go ahead and send me a picture of what you have. I love seeing your artwork. And we have our spring sheep. So cute. Have fun with your drawings.